Hello, my name is Daquan DeFleece, and welcome to Channel 6, your source for STEM Kids News. Today we will be reporting the top stories in Sandwich. Over to you, Madeline. Thanks, Sam. I'm Madeline Vining, reporting from the Sandwich High School pool that was recently opened to the public. The pool has been under construction for quite some time and has cost the school almost a million dollars to fix it. Since the beginning of the year, kids have been using the pool for a gym class, swim team, and diving team, and more. But now options are not only available to the kids at the school and the school, but the public. Here's an interview with Ms. Pierce, the box director. Um, who is involved in the pool open to the public? Um, to the public? Yes. School committee. Mostly school committee. With my help. You've always wanted to open it to the public, but it, it really has taken until April 3rd when we actually started to like, get to that point where we could get it open to the public. Um, did you guys have like, an outcome with like, the people that show up? Like, oh my gosh, she sold out in like two weeks. She could, she's like so full she couldn't take another kid right now. So yeah, okay. it's awesome. It's great. She had over 100 people sign up. Okay. Thanks for watching. Now over to Riley with a story about the girls' varsity lacrosse. Hi, my name is Riley Brown. I'm here at the SHS DeCondo Stadium to tell you a story about Kelsey Bean, the girls' lacrosse coach. Recently, she has received the 2015 to 2016 MIAA Coach of the Year award. She was nominated by many people from Sandwich to Fountain, including Neil Murphy. The nomination form describes the award as Recognizing excellence in character, achievement, and coaching. How did you nominate her to get the award? Well, um, we nominated her. She's Kelsey's actually uh, Coach Beaton is a is a two sport coach, so she coaches field hockey and girls lacrosse uh, in the spring. Um, she's someone who's been coaching for almost 20 years. Both of those sports for almost 20 years, and, and all told, she's won um, I think 18 ACL titles or league titles. And so we just thought, um, we saw that the MIA was looking for um, Coach of the Year candidates. And so myself and um, her senior captain this year, Anna Hurley, who's an intern in athletics, and our other intern from outside of the school, Jenny Estes, who's a Falmouth High School grad and a field hockey lacrosse player, uh, we decided that she was a perfect candidate uh, and really deserved some recognition for um, all of her years of service and the success that she's had. To win the award? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, again, for those reasons that we talked about, um, just her commitment to you know the young women in our building for you know the past nearly 20 years, uh, for the success that she's had, and um, and I think in a lot of ways for the examples that the example that she has set for the young women in our building. I think she's someone who is demanding of herself, uh, and organized, and passionate, and hardworking, and. And I think she instills those qualities in the young women that come through our program uh, and play the sports that she coaches here at Sandwich High School. Congratulations, Kelsey. Over to you, Sam. Sandwich League will have their annual parade in American League games Sunday, May 1st. The parade will start east on 6A and move through all throughout Sandwich. Only coaches, players, parents, and marching band members should walk in the parade. There is food and an opening ceremony along with raffles at the wing school fields. After the parade and opening ceremonies, there will be American League games where you can come watch and have snacks. Sam Hood and Owen B and two home run hitters are going to face off on AL2, which should be a good matchup. Thank you for watching STEM Kids News. My name is Daquan DeFleece signing off.